Alexa. Ask Creative Icon 2 to calibrate the embroidery unit. Okay, is the area around the embroidery unit clear? Yes. Unit calibration started. Please wait. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That is the brand new Foff Creative Icon 2 sewing and embroidery machine. Now, this machine currently has not come out yet, but I am going to give you a countdown. I'm six days away from seeing the official launch of this machine at the Foff Convention for all the soy machine stores. So we are a FAF dealer and this is a required uh, attendance so we can get certified to service the machine and to sell the machine. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and I'm gonna give you a day-by-day -day sneak peek of what I do in getting ready for said convention. And we are also this week going to be starting the filming of the free tutorials. So this is gonna be like six days out, five Five days out, four days out, flying, taking all of our staff, seeing behind the scenes at convention. But today, on day six away, I am starting because I need to embroider a couple special t-shirts because my daughter, who is 12, will be joining us for convention and she is actually going to be working there. So I'm going to be embroidering a couple of her FAF official t-shirts so she has something to wear, but I wanted to show you what this machine has that I'm going to put to use for lining up my design. So that's what this whole entire video is going to be about and you will be able to slide forward if you're looking for just the official launch but if you're interested in kind of what I do day by day I've got a busy week with the filming. I have to teach some classes over at the store so we've got a lot going on and I can't wait to show you what it takes to get machines filled filmed and online and of course we can't debut them until the machine officially launches which is in six days. So I realized there's a Netflix show called Seven Days Out where they take you seven days prior to a big event like the Kentucky Derby and a variety of other huge events to let you see behind the scenes what all has to happen before the actual event. So with no further ado, I've got some t-shirts to embroider. I do have a video on how to embroider t-shirts like six easy steps or something like that. So we'll put those links below. Everything that you'll need to know is in the description and so you can follow along or check out anything that we talk about along the way as we get ready to see all the beautiful things that this machine can do. We've waited a long time. It kind of got hung up during COVID and delays and chip shortages but we are so excited to finally have this machine and to see all the possibilities that have been added that we've been waiting for. So I'm the one that does free video tutorials on soy machines sergers and embroidery machines for a variety of different brands that we sell at our retail store in South Dakota. So if you're interested in learning more about your machine, uh, we have online classes that you can check out, including that quilt in the background is our FAF Stitching Cosmos online course, and that would be a great way to help you master your current FAF machine, or maybe when you splurge and get one of the newest FAF sewing and embroidery machines that has just come out. Out. We have a handful of resources that can take you from zero to hero. I have the t-shirt just about ready to stitch out, but I want to show you one of the newest features on the Foff Creative Icon 2, which is the projection screen, which was going to project this, the design that I'm about to stitch onto the fabric. So I can actually see how it's going to line up. I do have my lines drawn, uh, so I know how to get it all nice and centered. So what I'm going to show you is that we can move this so we can actually see where this is going to stitch. So for being able to just kind of move the projection of the design so you can really see the alignment 
prior to stitching is a game changer. So I'm going to just move this a little bit to the side so you can really see if the whole area is going to stitch to your liking. If you're very visual, this is going to give you an idea of how big the design is going to be and where it's going to stitch. So you can see it before you stitch it. One of the things I like to do is turn off the thread cutter between lots of letters when I'm stitching on something you're gonna see both sides. So for example, on this t-shirt, um, it just keeps all the back looking almost as pretty as the front. And don't forget that uh, in the hoop basting stitch, which I love, that allowed me to just lay the t-shirt in place, shine that projection down, get it exactly where I want it to be, and then uh, stitch it out. I am a fan of some water-soluble stabilizer on the top. It just helps keep everything nice and lifted out of the, the nap of the t-shirt. It makes for a nice finish. I love adding a little glitz to some of my embroidery, and you just can heat them up with the, this is a glitzer, and you just kind of set the heat on it, and voila, we've got instant shine on our embroidery. So I'll just go ahead ahead and keep adding and we've got two shirts done and day six is complete. It's unboxing day. So we're getting set up for the first video and it feels like it always takes like an hour to get everything set up so you can film like a five minute video. But here is our Foff Creative Icon 2 that is still in the box. I know I used one out of the box yesterday and uh, now it's time to do the full unboxing video. Here is the new luggage for this machine. So I thought I'd bring it in just so you can see. And it's got the four wheels and will fit through any of the doorways super easy. So this is actually our Heirloom Creations Retail Store Event Center here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And my filming studio is just right off of the event center. So most of the time it's super quiet, easy to work in and stay focused. I've got two days to film as much as I can. And we are five days out from launch day at the Foff Creative Icon 2 dealer convention in Phoenix, Arizona. And we can't wait to see all the cool things that they'll be introducing. So this is what it takes before getting ready to do an unboxing video. And once we start unboxing, you really just have to go all in one take because it's just that easy. Um, the Creative Fop Icon 2, these boxes are big. They travel great. They're very protected. Um, so once they start coming out, it's nice to see what everything is that comes with it. Um, in the big boxes, big box is always the sewing machine. And then the tall, skinnier box is always the embroidery unit. So usually I do some beauty shots, get some um, pictures that I can use along the way before I open them up. And then once it's all opened, I get everything plugged in and do some other uh, photo shoot of my own. And I do that with like a time-lapse camera. So I push the button and then run in front and then take some pictures, run back, see if they look good, go back and forth. Usually I'll do that three or four times and then have 12 or so pictures that I can pick from. So sometimes when you see me smiling, that's usually how I get that. That because I do do this all by myself and it's just easier that way. I can just get it done and work at my own pace. Some days when you're on a deadline like today, we just have to keep rolling through and watch the clock so I can be home for dinner with the fam. So, all right, so we're about ready to get started 
with the unboxing. So I'm gonna go sneak around the other side, see if you can even see me, if I need to adjust the camera a little bit. But this is how it all gets started when we start a brand new machine and start doing videos from the beginning. Okay, so this is not going to work. So we're gonna try to slide this this way and this this way. You can still see the logo enough. I feel like a, I feel like a dwarf. So we're gonna kind of work our way in, get a nice uh, camera shot for this and then get started. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and we are starting the brand new machine, the FOF Creative Icon 2, a sewing and embroidery machine. And we're pretty excited about all the new technology, so I can't wait to show you. We're gonna start with an, an unboxing video and then start going into how to use this machine from start to finish. So on a side note for unboxing videos, and since this seems to be my life now is filming machines starting with unboxing, I feel like I'll be 80 years old and still doing unboxing videos and then like barely lifting the machine out of the box. But yes, this is uh, always a tricky day when it comes to unboxing. It is a physical item um, as we're getting it out of the box and up on the table. So without further ado, here comes the machine. We have created a whole playlist of the videos that we have completed so far. You'll find that link below. And if you have any questions along the way, you are welcome to reach out, leave us a comment, or definitely contact your local FOF store for all the information about this fabulous machine. Let's get started. So after an unboxing video, now I gotta put everything away <laughs> so I can um, just find everything and get ready to set up. And it'll probably be about uh, half hour to 45 minutes before I'm ready to start filming the next video. As we get started with, I usually do accessories and a familiar kind of overview of the screen, get everything plugged in, make sure it works. I'm assuming it does when I plug it in, it will turn on. Uh, Alexa's over here waiting for her first commands of how she can help me find different things on this machine. This is exciting. The rest of the afternoon, it's gonna be nose to the grindstone, film and then get some editing done of all the videos that I have done so far this day. Whatever I film on one day, I try to edit in the rest of the day. And then that way I can always, um, I always know what I've said and it's a lot easier to edit and get things ready. Start um, uploading some of those videos to YouTube. I usually hit send to YouTube and then I leave for the day or the evening. And then um, sometimes I'll come back to that either later tonight or first thing in the morning, get all those videos prepped. There's a lot of things on YouTube, you have to check all the boxes so they know you're doing uh, pr appropriate videos. I don't have any problem when doing sewing videos, but it is something that there's a lot of back end on YouTube that you do to get everything prepped. And so it can actually get pushed out and sent out to all of our subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, we hope you'll do so. And um, we've got a lot more videos to do today. So day four kind of got away from me. I taught all day and I had a class at night. We had over 19 students in as they were mastering their brand new machines. We're over here at the Heirloom Creations retail store and part of our classroom. It's actually already set up for a different class that already happened this morning. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna get back to doing the last couple of videos and then home for packing and off to Phoenix in the morning. So now I am working on getting all the videos that I have filmed this afternoon edited and then we'll export them, get them ready to go to YouTube. And it's just amazing what technology allows us to go in. And then, so these are all the raw footage of the ones we have filmed. We have all the audio. So you match up the films with the audio and make it turn into one beautiful, all put together video.
So yes, I do listen to myself a lot, but you do kind of get used to it. But this is what I do for a couple hours after a couple hours of filming. So I love that I get to sew and I love that I get to edit. And then I love that all of you enjoy these videos and you leave us wonderful comments of how much we've helped you. We're at the Sioux Falls Airport and we always touch the buffalo for good luck going out and it's going to be a great trip and I can't wait to see everybody, all our friends in Phoenix. about the machine? I love it. You love it? Yeah. yeah. Easy? It's just different. Yeah. Is everybody behaving around here? Of course. Not him. Not him. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else exciting about the machine? Uh, you know the camera and the, the projector, that's all pretty neat stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, I've never seen anything like that before. No. No. They've, they've changed a few things to make it run better. Yeah. Uh, it's a, it looks like the first icon, but it's got a lot of new stuff in it that's not that wasn't there with the first icon. So it's pretty cool. Good. We are here with. Noe. Yes, Noe. Nice to meet you. You're nice from meet you. uh, Fort, Fort Collins, Collins Colorado. Colorado. Yes. And how did you find me? Um. So the owner Melissa from yes. the sewing circle. Uh, I bought my sure. machine, my very first buff during the pandemic, so there wasn't really training available. So she, she suggested the video, and that's how I learned my 1.5, Yes, which was my very first buff. And then do you have more now that you I do, so I have a creative icon now, and I have my icon two on order. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Good, thanks so much. We've been thanks. hearing lots about everybody finding our videos, and um, we'll show you more around. and from our store Heirloom Creations in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. 
and I am at the 2022 Fox Dealer Convention where we have been getting trained, certified to help you master these machines. And I can't wait to show you all the great videos that we're going to be doing so you can learn the brand new Fop Creative Icon 2 and the things that they have added to this machine. I can't wait to really dive into all the possibilities with the um, exclusive embellishment attachment and I am a fan of the Alexa option or a voice activation because you know me I'm always trying to do more than one thing at once and I can have the machine actually pick my stitch before I even sit down or pull up a tutorial or pick all my butterfly stitches in the embroidery mode so there's a lot that I can't wait to show you how it works and really get into teaching you why this machine would be like it is cutting edge it is top of the line and there's a lot of things in here i'm still even learning all the the extras that they have added i think one of the things that we get a lot in our classroom that are problems is sometimes like not knowing which presser foot to put on and how the machine will even recognize if you've got the wrong one on or even if you put it on backwards i mean raise your hand if you put on a a foot backwards and didn't realize that you'd actually done it. So this machine has some artificial intelligence that you're going to learn more about, that it can sense what's going on so you don't do it wrong and you pick the right accessory for the stitch that you're using. The other one that I have actually already used because I was doing some quick projects before convention is using the projector to shine down on my fabric for embroidery for placement. And it was just so easy to put it in, shine it down, see that I wasn't, um, or see that I was lined up, not crooked, and just go ahead and start stitching. And you know how I love decorative stitches. Uh, one of the other thing is being able to project the stitch onto my fabric before sewing it. And I always love to change it or flip it. And so now I can actually see it before I stitch it. And so I, I don't have to guess or do as much testing. I'm looking forward to that and using that. So watch our videos coming up. And if you can, get to your local FOP store and check this machine out. Have them show you what all the new features are. And Sarah, have you been able to play with the creative embellishment attachment at all? Oh, yes, the that? creative embellishment attachment. We just got to do that yesterday in my certification class. I mean, being able to add all types of yarns and beads and ribbons while embroidering. And to watch it stitch is, is you, you guys are in genius of coming up with all the software that makes the attachment actually work. So it'll be fun to actually see what people start to use it for. These days, life is short. We have learned that in the last couple of years. If this is something that you would like, if you just have a little want of this machine, you want time to sew and enjoy sewing more because that's one thing we notice when people get brand new machines, top line machines, the newest, greatest, they sew more, they embroider more. So don't wait. I think we've realized that this last couple of years is we don't always know what tomorrow brings. And definitely take the time. If this is something you'd like to do, do it.